Hi, my name is Christine Yu. I am a third generation Korean American. Um, I was born in Buffalo and primarily raised in Iowa and Memphis, Tennessee. I came to filmmaking through, um, through my background in art and music and um, went to film school at USC. I've been working in the business for a number of years um, as an editor, as a writer, and finally as a, as a director. Um, my current project is called Wedding Palace. It is a uh, comedy. Uh, many people like in it uh, saying it's like the Korean American, my big fat Greek wedding. And it is the first US Korea independent co production. Uh, it was shot in Los Angeles, uh, in Koreatown, and in Seoul, Korea. Um, the film features a primarily Korean American cast. I was really fortunate to work with the cast that I did. Uh, the lead role uh, is played by an actor named Brian T. He was the uh, co-lead of Fast and Furious 3 Tokyo Drift. He usually plays the bad guy in stuff. He was the Drift King, um, but I thought that he could really pull off a romantic lead and I was very happy with the work that he did. The um, Also here from the US is comedian Bobby Lee. Many people know him from Mad TV and Harold and Kumar. Uh, he's coming out also in The Dictator, the new Sasha Baron Cohen film. And uh, really funny, hilarious guy. Um, and Margaret Cho, comedian Margaret Cho. And from Korea, I had the pleasure of working with an actress named Kang Hae Jung. She was many people in the US, probably she's best known here in the US for her work in a movie called Old Boy, which is kind right. of a cult, cult classic type of film. And, um, but the film is generally, it's a family comedy and uh, it will be coming out later this year. And I had the honor to screen it in Philadelphia at the Philadelphia Asian American uh, Film Festival. And it was the opening film for 2011 and uh, it was a wonderful screening experience. I uh, really enjoyed myself and um, audience was fantastic. And um, what are your um, current plans for your film? Uh, currently, we are in the midst of uh, marketing and uh, for planning the theatrical, U.S. theatrical release, and also we are in the midst of launching it on the international market. And do you have any future plans beyond Wedding Palace? Yes, I am also now transitioning into commercial directing and uh, doing television directing and um, the film has really opened up a lot of great opportunities uh, for me and um, and then in the meantime hopefully next year I'll also be able to launch my next project which will also be a US Asia co-production. Great. <clears throat> Do you have any advice for budding filmmakers? Uh, budding filmmakers um, actually in a lot of ways making Wedding Palace I realized that um, it's actually in a lot of ways it's it was sort of like making my student film I kind of just went back to my student filmmaking roots um, because I think sometimes there's a perception when you've been working professionally that somehow you know one day is it's gonna happen that the you know pearly gates are gonna open for you and this you know magical feature film experience is just gonna somehow appear because you've worked hard enough or what have you um, I really had to uh, work very hard over uh, many years to also realize that, I guess also being like a Korean American female um, director, I d wasn't exactly the visual uh, image that people would actually have in mind, I guess, for a director. So I really just um, really had to get it in my mind also that you know, I don't need permission to make a feature film, actually, and so I, once I kind of got that in my mind, I just realized that, you know, hey, I, I'm just going to do it, and so I really went back to my student filmmaking roots and then just started getting into, okay, what do I actually really need to make the best film happen? And so I think that, you know, budding filmmakers should um, just stay really clear to their vision and just go out and make it happen. You know, don't wait for anybody, just, um, Go out there and just do it is, is actually, a, at the end of the day, is the only thing that counts. 
Happy birthday to the Philadelphia Asian American Film Festival. I'm very excited that it's the fifth year. This is an awesome film festival. Um, all the filmmakers out there, uh, submit your film to PATH. You will not be disappointed. It is one of the best film festivals on the circuit today that I uh, had the pleasure to participate in. And all the audience is great. And um, congratulations and, many, and much success to you this year.